Hi, I'm Joshua. Hi, I'm Miranda. Hi, I'm Maya. We're the Youngs. We've spent our lives traveling the world. And in 2018, we moved from Chicago, Illinois, to Copenhagen, Denmark. Now we want to share with you how our new lives abroad is keeping us young. Keeping us young. Are helping to keep us young. Hello, it's Joshua. And Maya. And we just arrived in Billund, mm -hmm. Denmark, home of Lego and home of the Lego... The Lego house. House of the brick. Yep. We have not been inside here before, but we're very excited. It looks very cool. I'm so excited. I have been looking forward to this all week long. <laughs> We've been to Billund before to go to Legoland, but we didn't get to go to the house of no. the brick. So this time we're here just for this. Yeah. And we want to bring you along and show you inside. Yeah. All right, let's go. After you check in, you go up the massive stairs to see the huge Lego tree and each level has these really cool looking villages and various Lego sets set up and you can see all the way down to the bottom. But then you make yourself to the Masterpiece Gallery and see some of the most impressive Lego setups I think I've ever seen before and it really gets you excited for the day inside the brick house. Then you start going into the experience zones and the red zone is the first one we went to which just has a whole bunch of legos and lets you build we were there during halloween so there are tons of really cool pumpkins and other halloween decorations set up in this section next we visited the blue zone which has this cool area where you can set up a little block that fits onto this city section and when you place the piece onto the city you get to see everything light up and all kinds of things happen it's super interactive after this though we went on to build some race cars which was very cool as well um, this was uh, one of our favorite areas and we spent quite a bit of time in here where we were racing our cars as well as trying to get them to jump through the big hoop in the middle if we can build it properly Now we're at the Mini Chef in Lego House, and it's a really cool restaurant where you actually build your own meal using Legos. So each piece equals something different, and then you put it in this little plastic thing here, and put it in a machine, it sends it over, and you get your food. Process. It was good. This is my order right here <laughs> yeah. that I put in the little machine and it was pretty fun and it had little like cut scenes that you could watch while it was loading. It was very fun. I really liked it and the food was really good. I had salmon and some mashed potatoes and a little salad. It was so good. I thought it was pretty good food. I had pork. Maybe it was one of those pigs that we saw making a bunch of noise in the ferry the other day. I had french fries, I had salad, I had carrots, which I wasn't a big fan of, but that's okay because there's so much food I got full anyway. It was a pretty neat experience and I got to go see robots. So, I mean, what's not good about that? After lunch, we headed to the green zone where we built our own unique Lego character. You'll see in a minute, I'm the one on the right wearing the cowboy hat. Then we built a cool frog and after that, stop motion animation movie that we'd like to show you here, which features my arm and watch.
also in the green zone is Lego Worlds, which is comprised of a whole bunch of you know, cities and landscapes, just showing you what's possible with Legos. It's really impressive to walk around and look at these. It's some of the best Lego constructions I've ever seen. impressed me the most about the whole Lego brick house is the interactivity involved and the ability to create a fish, scan it, and then actually have it appear inside this aquarium swimming around. It's just amazing. We ended up spending time building a couple different fish just to play with this. I mean, it's a pretty incredible experience and very cool for little kids. wrapped up our day walking through the basement at the Lego house, which is a really, really neat history collection of um, all kinds of displays of past Legos, old things early in the history of the company, along with new things that you can see, like the Harry Potter stuff that isn't very, very old at this point. It was really cool to kind of walk through time and see where Lego started and, of course, where it is today, which you can experience all around the Lego house. Hello, we just left the Lego brick house and Maya. It was so much fun. <laughs> it was a ton of fun. I have to say I was impressed given everything right now with COVID that they kept everything very clean, hand stations everywhere. They restricted how many people were in each section and the bricks themselves go through 72 hours of quarantine at the end of each day before they can be used again. Yeah, so they really make sure that you feel safe but still have a good time. And it was definitely a good time. We had it a whole was. bunch of fun assembling all kinds of crazy things. Yeah. Um, we also couldn't help but buy a few things and we got some got things for free and here. bought some stuff. And it was just a really, really good day. I would suggest coming here if you get a chance. Absolutely. I had a lot of fun. So much fun. We hope you enjoyed joining us. And that's it for now. Yeah. We'll just say goodbye. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye.